Hit your metro down, trust you, I'm gon' shoot you I'm gon' get this money, that's on that All right, guys. So I have my nice E36 here. We're gonna do a review on. It is a 1997 BMW M3. This is a factory blue that I have in it right now, with some HRE rims on it. I believe they're HRE, something like that. I think they're HRE. The logo looks like the HREs. But yeah, um, have a New York decal on it on the back of the plate. It has a two. Uh, our RB26 swap in it, stroked fully built. <clears throat> it makes a good amount of power, I'm sure. It puts down seven, uh, around seven, some change. Let me, I'll check, make sure. I'm sure it puts down over seven though, 748. I have it tuned for rolls, it's not tuned for dig, so it doesn't move off hard. I mean, pop the clutch is gonna spin, of course. But yeah, I have it tuned for mostly rolls. I'm gonna take it on the highway. <laughs> <clears throat> do a full, uh, um, few pulls with it. All right, guys. So we're taking the BMW on the highway. Unfortunately, the um, this video is gonna get copyrighted because I think at the beginning of this video I had the radio playing in the game, and I think that happened to me before already, where the radio is playing in the game and I got copyrighted for it, which is kind of retarded. But yeah, whatever, YouTube. So, like I said, it's a uh, RB26. It may put down decent numbers, you know. It's swapped, of course, because it's a RB26 and a BMW. 25 um, pound of boost. PSI. Yeah. I thought about doing a Honda, but then I thought about also that a lot of people don't, don't I mean, not that a lot of people don't, don't like Hondas, but I think, I'm sure they'd rather see something else. that all right yeah. oh I did not see that car but yeah guys so it puts down decent numbers That's, I mean I'm sure you could drift if you change the tune the tune I have set up is just for roll so I can go like first gear now and won't red light or nothing I have it the tune is like really funny so if I'm going like 60 70 and I put and like like um if I like hit it or anything, floor it is not gonna really spin that much. I have a couple cars tuned for me like that. If you pop the clutch, it's gonna spin though. People, 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 drive properly. But yeah, like I said, if you pop the clutch, it's gonna spin. But if you just like kind of go on to it, it's a 70. Yeah, I don't brake boost, so it spins a little bit, but it goes. It doesn't just spin. It feels like the suspension needs to be stiffened up a little bit. This video is going to be very terrible. Whatever. It's better than nothing. Yeah, I max out that um the original clock on the dash the dash the speedometer. Speedometer, however you want to pronounce it. I max that out so quick. And I could have chose a lot faster cars to do a review on, but I was like, nah, it doesn't matter. I'm just going to do a review on this because it's a pretty nice car. So much noise coming from it. The turbo and blow-off valve and everything. Wastegate and everything. You hear pretty much everything in it. Very nice. I think I have it completely lowered. It's on brushed chrome. No, not brushed chrome. It's brushed steel. It's like the color I think of the rims. This color is stock. I thought about putting the manufacturer purple color to come, but nah. It was like it doesn't even look like a stock color. I'm not like, gonna use it. It's gonna look like I just made it myself anyway. And then this black decal for the front, I just put it on just, I don't know, just for anything really.
All right, guys, I'm gonna end this video. Right, I'm gonna end this video right here because I don't want it to be too long, and I'm gonna have to cut some parts out anyway. So yeah, I gotta edit it afterward and probably try to get it uploaded by Sunday, which would be tomorrow. All right, guys, I hope y'all enjoyed the little review. It's a pretty nice car, you know. I'm gonna actually show y'all the tune that's on it. Whatever, I don't really drive it that much anymore. So if tire have that, the tire pressures, gearing, that's how my gearing is set up, so it's really, really weird. But if you want to, you could like raise these up a little bit, like I'm gonna do right now. The only reason I'm raising those up is because <clears throat> when you raise them, I mean, you get a little better acceleration and stuff like that, so that's probably pretty much why. A little more acceleration. Camber, I put a little more camber on it. So these are all my setups, basically. Oh, camber, I want to lower this a little bit, so it doesn't... This is more, to me, I think it feel, to me, that messes up turning to me. The higher you have it, the car kind of jumps and turns too quick. So, yeah, this is pretty stiff already, but that's what she said. That, um, doesn't feel stiff enough. That's what she said again. Uh, yeah, that's all my tuning. I could pause it and then see whatever I have. Braking pressure, I'm going to raise that a little bit. And, yeah, guys, I'm going to this video right here. I'm going to do one more pull. I'm gonna break boost it this time. This car doesn't like to stay straight. <laughs> like I said, it's a pretty fast car though. But alright, guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna end this video right here. Uh, maybe I'll try to make a Call of Duty video later on. I don't know. Kind of can't can't really do nothing else right now because my leg is kind of messed up. So. Yeah, I'm gonna end this video right here. Niggas out of bounds, that, niggas rapping, they ain't never saw nothing. Hold this, hold that, I ain't letting these niggas hold nothing. Summertime, niggas copping for whips, you can tell.